All right. So I was all ready to go ride the other day. Realized I had a flat tire, and what do I see? Look at that. All right. So I'm tubeless on the uh, on the Santa Cruz. So let's see if we can't get this fixed. I got a flat tire and on Santa Cruz, you know, I'm running tubeless, so I've never fixed a flat on tubeless tire before. So I decided to order one of these little kits right here off Amazon. I call them bacon strips, some people call these. It's a tire repair kit. So this is what I'm going to use to try to repair the tire. Let's see how it works. All right, so here's the kit. Basically what comes with it is a tool here to insert the bacon strip. And it comes with several, several of the, like oh they, they call them bacon strips, but the little strips of material to puncture through the hole to seal it so um, this one here came with five on that one five and that one so it came with ten strips and it's small enough you can you know throw it in your pack if you need to use it so let's take a look at it and see how this thing works all right so what I did I just threaded the uh, bacon strip through this tool and I know, I keep calling it a bacon strip, but I don't know what else to call it. But you know what I'm talking about. So I threaded it through the tool here, and um, it's kind of sticky. It's a sticky substance, so be careful. Don't drop it in dirt or dust or anything, because it's going to attract all of that dirt and dust onto the bacon strip. Um, so just be careful with it. It's a little sticky. So, all right, according to instructions, once you got it in there, you find your hole, which mine is right there. And we just get over here so you can see. Just kind of bunch it in there. Force it in there. So now you see we got it in there. You see that? So we got it in there. And just pull the tool out. And your bacon strip is in there. I'll probably trim that a little. Let's go ahead and put some air in. See what it does. got a little leakage in there. I pumped it up to 30 psi. Just put a little extra pressure in there because I usually don't run it that high but I want to put a little extra pressure. And now you saw I spun the tire a little bit to get that sealant working in there and let it fill that gap. Matter of fact what I'll do I'll spin it some more maybe even turn it with this plug side down that way more of the sealant can kind of collect in that area. So now it seems like it's working. I try that for a few minutes and let it really, let the ceiling really uh, permeate the hole, any, any gaps or anything. And we'll take a look at it a little later. All right, so I'm back. It's been probably two hours. I'm gonna sit for a while with the ceiling at the bottom, with the hole at the bottom so the ceiling can kind of really get in there. So it doesn't look like anything is leaking out. I don't hear anything. I move this around. I don't see any bubbles. I don't, I don't 
here in the air still seems to be holding the pressure pretty good. So that may have done it. I'll get a knife or something and clip off that excess. And I think we'll be good to go. Right, just a little short video I want to throw together for you guys. So hope this helps somebody out. I didn't know what I was doing exactly, but hey. Like it may have worked. Alright, as always, thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hit that like button. Keep riding, guys. Peace.